Welcome back everybody, Leo Pazzo Productions. Thanks very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at this brand new LED RGB video light. Thanks everybody for tuning in. In today's video, as I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and look at this brand new RGB video light. This is made by Suit Photo. It is the P80 RGB. And I see that this is a great quality light right off the bat from me unboxing it and setting it up and using it now for the last week or so. And I figured I might as well go ahead and make a review video of me just kind of setting it up, playing around with it, showing you guys how to use it, a couple of cool features that I really like about it, and maybe a few things that I would like to see possibly improved in a future model. But overall, guys, right off the bat, I'm definitely impressed with the metal housing construction along with the nice solid mount. We're also going to be able to download the mobile app for this light and control this light with our mobile phone wirelessly over Bluetooth and I've already used the app and it seems flawless really nice smooth app to use with this LED light and we just have nice overall controls we have four different modes with this light such as CCT that's going to allow us to adjust the color Kelvin spectrum from as low as 2800 all the way up to 10,000 another cool feature in the CCT mode is that we're going to be able to adjust the green and the magenta color as well to make it a little bit more warm more or cooler and just kind of play around with the green and the magenta if we need to if we go ahead and talk about the second mode which is the hsi mode hue saturation and intensity we can simply just adjust the hue and saturation and intensity right here at the back of the light or if we decide to use the mobile phone app we can also do that there as well the next mode which is rgb cw which is going to allow us to have full control of each specific color the green the red the blue and along to have have more control of making it a little bit more warm or a little bit more cooler. I believe there's about 6 billion color options that we can pick in the RGB CW mode because we literally have the flexibility to control each color of the light specifically and we can kind of just fine tune it exactly the way we want to. If we go ahead into the next mode which is the effect mode, there are I believe 10 different effects and within those effects we can adjust the intensity and along with the frequency of the flash or the effect or how often it's going to flicker or rotate through the pattern. So all together with the 10 effects and the 10 frequency options, there's going to be, let's say, 100 different effects that we're gonna have with this light. Again, there's only 10 effects, but if we adjust the frequency, they're calling it or they're considering it 100 different effects. So the CRI rating for this light is 95 CRI, which is a nice quality light that I'm going to be able to get with this light, the color rendering index. The metal housing of the light build is actually nice and solid so I am pleased that it is made out of metal aluminum alloy and it just feels nice and strong to go along with that we do have this metal l-shaped mount over here that again there's a few features about this mount that I like to talk about firstly I want to say here at the side of the light the way that it actually mounts to the light is like an airy locking rosette type of mount with teeth that kind of lock into each other so you just simply loosen it up over here adjust the angle and tighten it up and when it's locked in there, it's nice and locked and secure. Along here at the bottom,
bottom of the mount we do have three different holes so we do have the regular hole here at the bottom that's just going to allow us to mount the light on our light stand if we do want to mount the light horizontally on our light stand we do have another hole here at the side that's going to allow us to mount the light horizontally as well so the fact that we can mount the light in two positions here at the bottom vertically and horizontally and we can also adjust the angle and I will mention we do have a third hole here towards the bottom that's going to support an umbrella so at the front of the p80 we do have a bowens mount which is a nice universal mount and this reflector right here is included so if we look here at the top of the light over here onto the left hand side this is the unlock and the lock button right over here so right now it's currently locked in this reflector and i will mention that this reflector does look like a nice quality build almost even like a replica of the aperture because i'm noticing the little rectangle little indents that we have inside of here and just the overall you know structure and shape of it it does seem like it resembles the aperture one so this looks like a nice quality reflector from what i understand in the manual when the reflector is on it actually does increase the intensity the luminance of this light so with the reflector on it's going to be even more powerful with the reflector off it's not going to be as powerful so talking about power this light is actually 80 watts i guess that's why we're hencing the name p80 rgb so this is an 80 watt led video light and again guys even at one percent this bad boy is super bright so as far as mounting the reflector it's pretty straightforward and easy you just simply get the Bowens mount reflector, put it towards here, the light, you just line it up and now you just wanna turn counterclockwise and that's going to lock it. And now we have the reflector mounted in here, nice and solid, no play. And it just feels like it's nice quality built and locked in there. So now if you wanna go ahead and unlock it, you just wanna go ahead and pull back on this little blue unlocking tab, pull it back and then turn the Bowens mount reflector clockwise. And now it's just gonna go ahead and simply come out nice and easy we can throw it into the bag so talking about the bag the bag is included so that again allows us for somewhere for us to put our light nice and secure in here and we also have somewhere to put the reflector the ac adapter etc the power cord so this nice little bag as simple as it might be it is nice the fact that it has a nice cushion inside we do have little padding dividers so we can kind of keep the light unit itself and the reflector separated or if you're more like me you kind of want to just throw it all into the bag and that's basically what I did I managed to see if I could throw it all into the bag because sometimes I don't really want to even though it takes two seconds to slap on the Bowens mount I wanted to see if it fit in the bag as is and it sure does so let's just give you guys a peek right over here so bang the lights in there so it's not like I really forced it in there I can get my ACDC adapter I'll just unplug it over there slap it inside and away you go the lcd display screen here that we have at the back the dial controls seem pretty nice and stepless and smooth kind of very easy to use in my opinion i believe the app is much easier to use and to control the light via the app than the actual controls here at the back of the light again the app is just kind of just straightforward it says what it is and you just slide it phenomenal i've really enjoyed using the app as far as the controls here at the back they're easy to use but it might take a little while getting used to there is a remote control that that is not included it is optional I did not buy the remote control so I'm going to say if you're going to be using multiple p80 LED lights and the fact that we can kind of assign these lights to different groups and we can control those group settings of the light via the back of the light or even on the mobile phone is just a nice feature because now we have control of all the lights on set the accent light the key light the field light whatever kind of lighting you have set up we're gonna be able to group them into different groups and control them with our mobile phone phone so I will say that's going to be definitely very helpful we do also have this top handle here at the top that just gives us somewhere nice and easy to grab the light if we're traveling with it while we're maybe setting it up whatever it is the nice little handle here it just feels and looks like it's well built so having a closer look at the p80 we do have an internal fan in here that's going to automatically turn on when we power on the light there is a thermal sensor inside here that's basically going to recognize if the light is overheating or possibly getting too hot Hot, and therefore it's going to restrict the intensity from being able to go from 100% it's going to restrict it down to only 30% and that's going to basically save the life longevity as far as this fan noise it's not that loud it hasn't really been bothering me or affecting the audio in my videos so guys as far as powering the light the light does come included with this AC DC adapter so one end we can just simply plug into the wall the other end the DC end we can plug it in here to the bottom of the light and now we're ready to go ahead and turn it on by simply 
simply holding down the power button for about three to four seconds, long press, and the light's ready to turn on. I will mention that we can also power this light via a V-mount battery. So if you have a V-mount battery and a D-tap to DC cable, if your V-mount battery can supply 15 volts output, to this RGB LED light here from Sudphoto P80, that's going to allow us to power this light with a V-mount battery. For those of you guys that do not have V-mount batteries, as many of us may already have the Sony MPF style batteries, good news is that we can also power this light with the Sony MPF batteries as well. So I believe there's a specific plate, an MPF battery plate that holds two MPF batteries. And along the side of that plate, it's going to have some output options like D-tap, it's gonna have a DC, it's gonna have a U USB out. So out of all those options, you want to find the one that's going to allow you to have 15 volts output to this light. Well guys, that looks like a wrap for today's video. As you guys can tell, I'm very impressed with this P80 RGB LED video light by Suit Photo. They are a new brand, but again, I gave them the chance because I heard some good reviews about them myself. So I figured why not test it out and share with you guys my overall thoughts and review. So as you guys can see, I'm very impressed. I'm happy with it. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some more videos in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns for some upcoming music videos, product review videos, anything that I'm going to be able to use an LED light. I'm definitely going to be bringing this guy along the way because it's pretty much capable of doing everything that I need. And just the fact that we can control it with our mobile phones via Bluetooth nice and seamlessly. I'm very impressed. It's budget friendly. It has Bowen's mount and the mount itself here at the bottom of the light is made out of metal, nice and solid and secure. So overall, guys, like I said, I don't have much to complain about at all about this light i'm very impressed with it do i recommend it i'm definitely going to say yes if there's anything that you guys would like to see or any other questions you guys would like to know about let me know i'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video until the next one peace